just took one of our dams just near where we live. Just thought I'd show you a little bit around. Plastic bags and if you look, just go around a bit further. Just spotted it as I come in. Look over there. Bloody ice cream container. Unbelievable. And um, we're going to go down, we're going to be doing a clean up today at Fremont Park this afternoon. Seems to be an awful lot of people down there at the minute, so we'll go down this afternoon. Here's that, um, look at that. Yeah, is that area? Right? Ice cream container. It's probably someone come down here with feeding the ducks, and there's a nice big chunk of polystyrene. That won't let me get it. It's going out to the middle of the dam. All right, but anyway, um, yeah, we'll come down later on. We'll go down the road to Fremont Park, and we'll do a clean up in the in the creek because I did notice a lot down there this morning when we were down there. And um, one of the main reasons I wanted to get a video up today was um, just explain how dry it is here in South Australia. As you all know, around the world, Australia is the driest continent, apparently. And uh, we also, South Australia is the driest state. And I just want to give you some figures while we're walking around. At the moment, our dam levels, and I'm not talking about these dams, I'm talking about the dams that uh, supply Adelaide with water. Now currently, the total of all our dams is sitting at uh, 44%. Which you might say, oh well, it's nearly half. Yeah, well that's not very good, folks. Oh, look at that. There's a couple of ibis over there. Just playing around in the other part. The dam, look at that, he's going in there. What's he doing? I wonder if it's the time of year. Oh no, he's taking off. Thought it might have been the time of year for them to have their babies. Anyway, as I was saying, it's 44% um, total storage here in, South, in Adelaide, Adelaide only. And the water that feeds us here where we live in the northern suburbs, it's a little parrot dam. And that's currently sitting at um, 30%. Now 30% when you equate it over to how much in months, that's probably about four, four and a half months worth of water that we have in storage. Which is not a lot is it folks? Four and a half months and what I'd like you to do is just bear in mind that last year in South Africa, they got down to day zero. They ran out of water. Now, here we go. Just pick it up. There'll be a plastic there I can just get. Plus it's 10 cents. They got down to day zero. We certainly don't want to do that. And while we're talking about things like the water levels, which are, to me, we've got to be start looking at it. We've got to be start, and I do know that we have a desalination plant and we do run it, but it's not run all year. I think for about three months of a year, it's down for maintenance. And uh, anyway, the other thing is, the not only just the temperature and the water, but the temperature of the water in our beaches now I've been monitoring this for about two months and I'm getting this, all my data I get off legitimate sites. I get from the EPA, I get from the SA Water Board and uh, I get it from the National Weather Bureau. Now our sea level temperatures at our local beaches, oh, I just duck under here, is about 1.8 degrees higher than normal. Now it doesn't sound much, but can you imagine if your body, your temperature, from say roughly 36 to 37 degrees, if that jumped up 1.8 degrees, man you'd be in trouble, you'd be in hospital, you'd be sick. Well that's how our fish and our wildlife and all that are concerned are suffering 
out in the ocean. 1.8 degrees. That's huge, folks. But no one seems to be doing anything about it. Oh, hello. We've got some do-gooders over there. Look, on the other side. On the second dam. Look at those codgers over there. They're feeding the ducks. Go on, get out of here, folks. There's a big sign over here. And it says, do not feed the ducks. Yeah, well done to you, eh? What a great example you two old codgers are, eh? I won't show your face. Anyway, that's not what I'm here for. All right, so let's bear in mind, I've told you about the water. I've told you what you should be doing. Get onto your local members, folks. 40% or worse still, little para. We're thinning at 30%. Let's start getting our water levels up. Let's stop storing it in bloody water bottles in supermarkets. Anyway, that'll do for now. I'll put another video on later on tonight when we go down and clear up Fremont Park. Alright, thanks for watching.